Hello, dear students. Are you excited about today's session? We're going to study one of the most popular stories in the history of English literature. It is The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Today, we're going to discuss the cover, the title, and the author. Now, let's take a look together at the cover. What can you see? I can see a lion, a little girl, a dog, a scarecrow, and a metal man lying on the ground. What is strange about this picture? Yeah, how come the little girl is not afraid of the lion? Well, we'll find out later. So, how many characters we have here? That's right, there are five. Do you think all of them are real? No, some are real, but others are not. The little girl, the dog, and the lion are real because they are living creatures who breathe and eat. They are flesh and blood. However, on the other hand, the scarecrow and the tin woodman are not. They're not real because they're not made of flesh and blood. The scarecrow, for example, is made of straw and the tin woodman is made of metal. Now, let's take another look at the cover to describe each character. The little girl is carrying a basket and is trying to talk to the lion. The little dog could be her pet. The lion looks a bit sad, wiping his tears with his paw. The scarecrow is stuffed with straw. It has eyes, ears, a nose, and a mouth painted on it. Why do you think they're not afraid of the lion? Maybe it's a friendly lion. We'll see. Where do you think the incidents of the story take place? It appears to be a forest full of thick and tall trees, and the characters are standing on a yellow brick road. Do you think it's an imaginary story or not? It is an imaginary story because humans cannot talk to animals and inanimate objects like the scarecrow and the tin woodman cannot talk in reality. What do the characters have in common? Well, it's hard to tell from the cover alone, but we'll find out as we read the text. Now, let's move on to the title. Do you know the meaning of the word wizard? A wizard is a man who can do magic. Hmm, what comes to your mind when you hear the word wizard? That's right, magic. What else? Witches, that's right. Spells, magic wands, witches on a broomstick, fairies, palaces, etc. What is the opposite of wizard? is witch. A wizard is a man who can do magic, while a witch is a woman who can do magic. Does the word Oz refer to a place or a person? It refers to the wizard in the story, so it refers to a person. Um, the wizard also happens to be living in the land of Oz. What do you think Oz looks like? Maybe he's an old man with a long white beard and a pointy hat holding a magical wand. If you went there for one day, what would you expect to see or do there? Maybe there is an enchanted forest inhabited by wizards, witches, fairies, and magical creatures. And I would ask for a wish to be granted from a, a wizard or from the Wizard of Oz himself. What is the link between the wizard and Oz? The wizard's name is Oz, who also happens to live in the land of Oz. The author. Please refer to the booklet on page two. The author of the story is L. Frank Baum. What kind of stories did he write? He wrote fairy tales for children. Did he only write for children? Yes. Um, does the story have sequels? Yes, um, the, the author wrote 13 more books about Oz. Need to know, the genre of the story is a fairy tale where all the characters and the incidents are imaginary, that is to say, not real. And we already uh, tackled the difference between a wizard and a witch. A wizard is a man, while a witch is a woman. 
uh, the main characters of the story, we have Dorothy. Uh, Dorothy lived with her uncle, Henry, and Aunt Em on a small farm in Kansas. She had a pet dog called Toto. We also have Tin Woodman as one of the main characters. He is one of the characters Dorothy is going to meet on her journey to the city of Emeralds. Why is he carrying an axe? Maybe to chop trees. Um, what is he made of? He's made of metal. A scarecrow. What is meant by scarecrow? A scarecrow is a fake person farmers used to scare birds in a field. It is made of straw, a bunch of dried wheat or grass. Line. What are the features of the line? The line is usually known as the king of the beasts. But what about this one? We'll see. The setting in the story is the time and place uh, where the events take place. Uh, the setting in the story keeps changing as we read. First, the story begins in Kansas in America. Then we move on to the land of the Munchkin until we reach the city of Emeralds. The theme here is about the characters trying to meet and reach the Wizard of Oz to fulfill their needs and desires. What do you think these needs are? We'll find out as we read. Thank you.